Hello, hello. It's game time once again, boys and girls. And it's good to be out here. So today we're out in this beautiful part of the Blue Mountains. I've been camping sort of locally ever since hitting full time on the road because I've got a couple of things still to do around Sydney before I start heading off. We're going to look for somewhere beautiful to camp tonight just for the one night and I have a feeling it's going to be one hell of a view. So stick around, let's find this place. I've always loved the way that these trails break out into this sandy track up on these plateaus. I don't know what it is, it's just something real cool about it. Okay, and we're about to get spoilt with a view. Wow. Got a bit of a look out here, we'll just jump up, take a better look. You can see that clearing down there, there's actually a campground that this trail does divert and lead down towards. But we're just going to follow this plateau a little bit further along the edge here and find somewhere to set up camp and just enjoy the views. As I enter this new chapter in my life and prepare to step off on a new kind of adventure, I face many new challenges. I have many questions and very few answers about where I'm going, where I am and where I've been who I've been, who I am, and who I am becoming. But maybe for the very first time, I'm not in a rush. What is meant to be will be, and what is not will fall away like dry leaves in the autumn. Maybe I will find a place in the world where I can stand still, or maybe I'll continue to walk. Maybe I'll walk long enough and think deep enough that I begin to ask myself why I'm still walking, instead of always asking myself why I'm still here. It's funny how an inner journey often requires an external one in order to reach a required destination. I guess that's why I'm doing this. I'm out here looking for myself. Absolutely bloody glorious. Blowing absolute gale though. About to, about to bloody somersault me back to my car. Hold up, what's this thing? Yeah. I think that's part of the first fleet. Water levels used to be a lot higher um, back then. Rained all last night, so this water here is super clear. And tastes good. Actually, if you're not following me on, on Instagram, the Silly Swagman, jump on there and check out because I'm doing some updates of places that I'm staying while I'm on the road, just sharing some of the views and bits and pieces. And then for those who really want to help support the channel and ultimately me to be able to continue to do this stuff, uh, to share with you guys, you can jump on the Patreon page. All the links will be in the description below. But you guys, my Patreon subscribers are really helping keep this bloody dream alive, so to speak. For the Patreon guys, I've started filming some vlog style stuff about the setup because I had to deck out the car to get it ready for full-time traveling and living out of. Uh, so I'll be showing those guys all that stuff, all the behind the scenes stuff. And you know, even a best cafe in town, best bakery in town, that sort of stuff. There you go, follow the link and help your boy. Appreciate it. Some of these tracks are so well worn in over time from walking along the sandstone that uh, it does make me wonder whether these trails were here before the white fella, or if these were created by the indigenous peoples and then we've just continued to use them to explore these places up here because obviously they're the trails that we were using when when the settlers first came here so very well could be who knows not me not yet i 
I have absolutely no idea where this trail is leading now. I thought I was just going to go up to that sort of headland lookout section, but it starts dipping down, so I just followed it. Curiosity. Now nah, we'll crack on. Let's see what is revealed. Wow. Oh, boys and girls. What is this phenomenon? Nothing. Nothing except for sandstone. A mountain range as far as the eye can see, unspoilt. <laughs> this is what I came for. This is, this is where the mood changes. <laughs> this is where the smile just doesn't go away. Look at that thing. Look at that stuff. Man. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, we did it, we did it. Now I'm almost gonna bet that the trail potentially leads up on top of that feature, but I don't really wanna be on top of the feature. I'd rather have the feature to look at with that grand view beyond it. So we'll have a little look around. Oh yeah, it's definitely some plateaus up there we could park up on. Yeah, okay, it's definitely taking us down this little bit of a canyon, but it does sound nice down here. There's a lot of birds making noises. Might just check it out. Oh, much cooler next to this big rock. Let's just, we'll just follow it for a bit, see what we find. Yeah, no, it's taking me onto the feature. I don't want to do that. So the track's gonna go down there and force you up onto it. So I'm just gonna go back up a little bit, see if I can get across to one of those, one of those shelves. So I could potentially go just over there and see where that tree is, a little bit of a grassy area. Same view, but there's absolutely no shade there. Whereas here, that's where I'm thinking of setting up the swag. I'm not sure if the camera really picks it up, but look how far that sandstone cliff runs for. It's all the way out there. Pretty incredible. Okay, all right, okay, all right. We're, uh, we're all set up here. Got the walkabout swag by Alton, which was a collab with Scotty's Gun Walkabout. And I've got my Neve Summerweight sleeping bag in here. Cedar Summit large premium pillow. And with the walkabout swag, I've just got it tied off to the top, not using any of the poles, no pegs. But as you can see, it gives you a nice big space above your face to keep the net off. So it's, that's all you need, isn't it? That's all you want. Okay, so we've got maybe about an hour, a little bit less until sunset and it's going to be bloody off chops because as you can see, can you see? Got those sandstone cliffs there and they are facing the west. So as soon as that thing starts to go over that ridge, that thing's going to light up like it's bloody Christmas. Oh, nice. I've got the best seat in the house for when it all goes off to. This is bloody stunning. Not a whisper, not a bird to be heard. Just the wind. Just the wind and me. Having a chat.
everybody in that campground down there is probably like, what's that madman doing up clapping and stuff? On the cliff. Sunsets are pretty crazy things, hey? Like you look forward to Christmas once a year or whatever it is you celebrate. You look forward, you know, well you don't look forward to your birthday, but your birthday happens once a year. Maybe an artist you like comes to Australia randomly and, and, and you get excited about that. Sunsets happen every day. They literally happen every single day. We won't have a hot meal, we'll just have a cold one. Um, not because I forgot anything, just because I feel like having it cold. Some birds. Quick little story for you. Um, didn't bring a gas canister, did I? So, lucky what, what I brought to eat is some um, stir fry some leftover stir fry from last night's cook up. So it's cooked. It'll be cold, but that's right because it's been it's been bloody hot in the sun today. Just a bit of broccoli, capsicum, chicken, carrot. That's pretty much it. And some chili <laughs> some ground chili powder. Mm. Well, we might not have got the big glorious sunset that we deserved, but <laughs> got a double time. Um, it's essentially just a fake Kit Kat from Aldi. 10% um, off all Aldi items in the description below. I, you don't, I don't have that. Oh. So I did that. Bloody hell, crikey, what was that thing? Bloody dragon nearly ripped my face off. Bloody hell. I nearly leapt off there. <laughs> I would have thrown him off though, with me. Unbelievable, just drop that. Just drop more of that. It is so quiet. Alert, alert, news break, news break. Uh, sorry to interrupt the airwaves. Guess what? <sighs> Hoodies are available. I have to stop yelling because I'm in a caravan park. You can get these on the store now. Follow the link, it'll either be on the screen. Uh, if it's not, it's because I can't, I can't do that because I'm shit. And, and the link will be in the description below. Little swag manio on the front there. I know a lot of you have been asking about this hoodie ever since I gave you a sneak peek of it on a pack rafting trip with Scotty, who actually drew this up. He did the design, uh, I gave him the full blueprint, so I was the, the mastermind behind that. Scotty's gone walkabout. Thanks mate, cheers for the design, it's sick. But I appreciate everybody's support, and everybody who's been asking about the hoodies. This is literally gonna keep me going on the road, keep me getting to destinations that I can film and share with you guys. Anyway, back to the video. Thanks, guys. Oh. Yep. Just as pretty as it was yesterday. Oats and some milk and some honey. That's plenty of oats for a big boy. Milk, top that up 
with some water. I know that sounds weird. It's nice being out here while this cloud is slowly lifting in the mornings because it just starts to slowly reveal the landscape and the ridge lines and the creeks. Pretty awesome. Well, it's been a pretty impromptu trip. I didn't really necessarily have anything that I wanted to tell a story about or explain. It just hit me while I was sitting there um, camping by the vehicle and just thought, this place is too stunning. It would just be ridiculous if I just kept sitting here. It wouldn't have been, it would have been amazing. But I was like, I've got to get out of my feet and suss it out. Anyway, Waffle City. For those of you who know and those of you who don't know, about me jumping in the car to start traveling to film it it's felt that excitement was never there and i think that's because of the scale of it like i wasn't just going for a road trip for a couple of months or something um, it was quite a big life shake up and so it's not it didn't feel daunting i just felt really neutral about it and i think i think it's yeah just because of the scale of it if you had anybody thinking about hitting the road full time or you know to do a lap of Australia or whatever it might be just expect that you will you'll probably have a couple of weeks of feeling like that and don't let it deter you and, and make you think that maybe you've made the wrong decision it's just I think it's just a natural feeling to have when you're undertaking something like this and it'll pass and then you'll be like Whew. mate am I glad I didn't turn around because I'm living the absolute dream Anyway, that's just a couple words of off the top of the dome, a bit of wisdom and share my early experience of a few days on the road. Anyway guys, I think I've waffled on enough. I'm going to get packed up and I'll get back to you. Farewell beautiful location. Till the next time, hey? Whenever that may be. Well, thanks for tuning in again, everybody. I really appreciate it. It was just a small one. It was more about just wanting to share the view with you that I'd been looking at further down for the last couple of nights. So it wasn't so much an adventure or a story. Just wanted to share with you something that I thought was pretty damn special. Thanks to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, if you want, obviously. And uh, to all my Patreons, massive thank you to you guys. I know you've been hanging out for that behind the scenes footage of the car fit out and everything. So I'll get that to you ASAP. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. We got the best community ever. We got the best community on YouTube. I'm calling it right now. See you guys. Matsy out. We've done it again. Yeah.